He's out of it. God's out of it. That's what one of the lads said to me in the trenches. Christ suffered once and for all and then ascended into heaven and left us here in hell. I mean, they're, they're tired, cold, frightened boys. That's all they are. What's God like for them? And then one day it struck me. I was running back towards our lines, mad with fright, to be honest, and I, I went across this bit of open land, it used to be a wooded copse or something, and I tripped. I must have stumbled over something or other, and I looked down to see what I'd tripped over, and there, on the ground, looking up at me, was this young, underfed, undersized, underage German boy, wounded in his head and his stomach. And I looked down at this pathetic creature and I thought what's this got to do? what the devil has he got to do with you hmm? you're not some blonde blue-eyed Prussian you're a boy that's all and as I looked down at the face on this boy it was as if Jesus on the cross took his place <laughs> there was Jesus looking up at me and I could hear these words whatever you do for the least of these little ones you do for me and from that moment on, I, I never saw the battlefields as anything other than Jesus on the cross. That's what I saw. I saw him in the slums. I saw him in the overcrowded quarter. I saw him in some vulgar street speaking to me of luxury and waste. I saw him in the headlines of a newspaper, speaking out about a lost, bewildered and tortured world. But the vision of life in the cross is not one of despair. It's not. It's one of hope. It's one of confidence. Why? I'll tell you why. Because behind the cross is an empty tomb. And Jesus with his wounded hands ready to bless you. Ready to ascend into heaven.